All right, guys, Mike Simon here, and I'm going to show you how to put your connecting rod on your piston with a wrist pin. We're going to be doing uh, floating pistons and connecting rods. Also going to put the rings on the new piston. Um, I've already done the front and left piston, and I'm about to do the front and right. So I'll show you guys how it needs to be lined up with the flat side on the connecting rod. Let me go ahead and open up this rod here. So I got my rod here, and as you can see, the difference here, it's a lot thicker on the right side than it is the left side. So this is your flat side, and you want your two flat sides to be um, touching each other. So on my front left piston, it's on like this. Now this is going to be my front right piston, it's actually going to be like this. So the two flat sides are touching each other. Got new some new pistons here and uh, floating wrist pin or the wrist pin here. Got a couple uh, clips, wrist pin clips here that will uh, hold in the wrist pin. I need two of them. Another thing you gotta pay attention to: pistons have a circle in it to show you the front of the engine. So your piston needs to be facing the front of the arrow, and also on these it has an F on the side for front. So these piston <clears throat> is gonna be on the right side, and this is gonna be the front. So I'm actually gonna set it like this, and my connecting rod is gonna go on like this. Actually, no, it's not going to go like that. It's going to go like this. <clears throat> so first, I'm going to go ahead and put the rings. I've got some Hastings Molly rings. First, I'm going to go ahead and put on the uh, first ring. This goes on the bottom. Like so. And something to make sure you remember is the gap here you do not want your rings gaps to line up. So this is like 3 8 you want off from my ring. So um, I have this one here to set to this one side. Take two of these here. And the first one I'm going to put on. It's going to be on the bottom. These can actually coil on, they're quite thin, unlike the second and uh, first. I'm just going to go ahead and roll this right on, like so. And it'll fall right in place. Just like that. And I actually have my gap here. My other gap here. So you see they're not lined up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put the top on. And what you want to do is you want to put it completely opposite. So I have uh, the gap here. I'm actually going to put it on the complete opposite side. So we'll start it on this side here. This is going to be in the top of the oil. That just sets in there and just spirals right on. Just like so. I got the bottom on, as you can see. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put the second ring on. That's very important. These have a little circle here. I'm not sure if you can see it. But this means the circle needs to go up. So let me use my handy dandy spring spreader. There we go. Just 
and gave me the ability to put it in. I'm just going to go ahead and spread this out just a little bit. see here this one does not want to go in place all right there we go so that's in there so we got the second ring in <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and Again, you don't want these gaps to line up. Just want to put on the top ring. Spread that out a little more. There we go, snapped right in place. Perfect, so we have our top, middle, and bottom rings on. Remember this is my front here. We're gonna go ahead and put the connecting rod. It's gonna go like this. <clears throat> First I'm gonna put some grease oil on this so it will be lubricated. So I'm going to put a little bit on the inside of the connecting rod here. And I'm just going to rub some of it on this wrist pin. We're just going to set this in place in the middle here, and the pin will slide right in. Get it started. Just give it a slight turn. There we go, we got the pin in there. So next I'm going to go ahead and put one of these rings. It's just like a C-clip ring. So I'm just going to pinch that together with some pliers and set it on the side of the piston here. up so you can see. So this is just going to sit inside here. There's a groove in there so you'll know when it's in there. Just like that. Not sure if you can see that. So now <clears throat> my wrist pin when I go out the other side. So I'll push it all the way back. And we'll put the other clip in. Show you here. Just like that. Now the pin is set, the clips are in. <clears throat> now we have our floating piston here. See, I got it all greased up. So it's uh, 
Perfect. You guys go. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish putting the rest of the uh, pistons together and put the rings on. And stay tuned for the next part uh, when we put the uh, pistons in the block, connect them to the crank, and then we'll move on to putting in the camshaft. And uh, we're getting closer and closer. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys enjoy.